And welcome back to Telstra Stadium here in Sydney. Probably a crowd of around 76,000 here to witness game number 80 in an event that's had its beginning back in 1980. An event recognised as one of the great sporting rivalries. In fact, by Australian standards, there is no greater rivalry as two of the most passionate arch enemies come together again. As Peter pointed out, incredibly, after 79 games, just one point separates them. Shots of the New South Wales room, of course, with the players on debut, three of them, in fact, plus the one change in the shape of Brett Kamali, Queensland leaving the rooms. Tonight, they get the chance to wrap it up. But remember, they haven't sealed a series in the first two games since 1995. Tonight, they get a chance to win back-to-back -back series for the first time since 89. But more importantly, they get the chance to rid themselves of the curse of Telstra Stadium. Reception waiting for them as captain Darren Lockyer takes them out for the 12th time as master and commander of the Maroons. A win tonight for Darren will see him become only the second Queensland captain to win back-to-back -back series. Lewis did it three in a row in 87, 88 and 89. And to the king, if you're watching, I hope your recovery is progressing well. Badiris 11 times in front of the New South Wales side. He's won two Origin series, and here he is with the team. So from the air, the pictures beaming down on the home of the Olympic Games. But tonight, the home of this incredible battle as it goes into its 27th year. It's been a furious week. It's been a hell of a week for that man, Brett Kamali. I wonder, will he come out of this with happier memories than he did a couple of years ago? Bailey taking injury into the game, I'm sure. Minicello forced out. Brett Stewart, a diabetic, into the team today. New South Wales just assembling for the rendition of Advance Australia Fair from Guy Sebastian. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and welcome Aria Award winning Here comes the Guy anthem. Sebastian to sing tonight's national anthem. Shane Hayne will debut as referee tonight. two for Harvey Norman. Well, Matthew Johns touched on it earlier. He mentioned the Hunter Valley, Maitland, the home of Greg Bird. And to those people on the coast, Central Coast and Hunter Valley, our thoughts certainly with you. And we only hope our coverage tonight is firstly able to reach you. And secondly, that it goes a little way towards putting some brightness in an otherwise dark and terrible week for you all. Referee, as I said, his first time round, he becomes the 18th referee to have had control of a State of Origin match. New South Wales will run to the north, and three weeks of waiting, three weeks, 
Will we live or will we die? Might well be the question for the Blues as Price, man of the match from one, brings it out. On the first collision of the night, eight metres out from the Maroons line. To Sivan Asiva, his partner in crime, they got through so many metres between them, almost 400 metres they covered, the two props, and they both played for an hour in Brisbane three, week, three weeks ago. Played by Johnson and tackled is Carmichael Hunt. Put down in a good tackle by Brent Kite. And now Sivan Asiva takes it ahead for a second time on the opening set. That's what you'd expect from the big fellow who won the Harry Sunderland medal just a year or two ago. Then Lockyer kicks and kicks high, not that deep. Stewart gets his first touch. Diagnosed, as I said, with diabetes as a 13-year-old. Well, and tonight he makes his origin debut. Tremendous set defensively for New South Wales, forcing Lockyer to kick just 25 metres from his own line on the back of a slow play the ball from Sivan Asiva. Andrew Ryan, who played the full game in Brisbane, he plays the ball and it's gone to Kamali to give it short and quick away to Kite. And Kite is put down by the Maroons, three of them in all. Carl Webb was there with Price and Cameron Smith. Then Badiris goes behind one, and Astor got a pass away that looked a little bit shady. Simpson will play the ball from Newcastle, 25 away from the Queensland line. Back now for Kamali to go high, and across this tall men out there, but not as tall as Brent Tate. Up above them like a skyscraper. To join the Warriors and his brother-in-law Steve Price next year. Here's Hunt with the ball again. Excellent coverage here from Justin Hodges. Stands his ground. Hain runs into him. Made it an easier catch for his fullback. Carl Webb bumps away from Brent Kite before being held by Andrew Ryan, who plays in 13. Nathan Hindmarsh in 11. Here's a dummy half run. There were no markers. Terrible, terrible marker defence. Non-existent, in fact. Hodges will play the ball just into New South Wales territory. That's an awful sign early in the game as Lockyer puts a kick high and down towards young Stewart again. Brett Stewart, his family watching from the gallery, the product of the Red Devils at West Wollongong, where Fulton and Dorothy came from and Roach and Jack. We wish him well caught into the game so late to replace Anthony Minicello and Cooper is injured for the Blues. Ten from halfway, Badiris goes to Mason. Oh! And the Maroons pick him up, javelin him into the ground. Smith and Webb, now for Kite. Angles it back in, but makes some metres, about seven of them. Tackle by Dallas Johnson, the dynamo at the back. Kamali gets a kick in hurriedly high. And they get under it, and Carmichael Hunter's got the ball. Well covered, well covered by the youngest player ever to play for the Brisbane Broncos. Now for Tate. 30 metres out. The flankers, the full-back, already tested for the Maroons. But then too, so has young Brett Stewart. The manly magician. 59 tries in 75 games. To the halfway line comes Queensland with English. And then the kick is snapped away by Cameron Smith. The 19 is Stewart. Tackle 10 out from his own line. And he'll be very happy to get his first two touches out of the way as Matt Cooper continues to struggle. He's moved on to the left wing. Andrew Voss sideline. Yeah, Sterlo, both trainers for New South Wales have been out with Matt Cooper. It is a knee problem. They've got Ryan Hoffman on standby, but at the moment Cooper's saying he's sweet to play on. Heinmarsh is with the ball then. At the 30-metre point... Running away from the southern end, the Blues, who build up a big lead in Brisbane to see 25 unanswered points come rattling back against them. Mason hasn't played since that game. A couple of players in both squads light on match practice. Mason for one. Miles, he's played 33 minutes in eight weeks. Now Hunt comes back again. Good work, Kamali. Down the park, putting everybody on side, making the tackle. Face ball finishes up with Lockyer. High shot on Lockyer. Here it is. Hold him. Nobody says anything. It was Hindmarsh high on Lockyer. Now for Hodges. Let's have a look at this on replay. Yeah. 
That would have brought a penalty most Friday nights and Sundays, let me assure you. Price, Webb wasn't looking. It's with Hindmarsh. A little bit of good fortune for the Blues there. He was storming Carl Webb. Zero tackle Blues. Mason to the 40-metre line. He's pulled down around the legs by Tony Carroll, who was in that Queensland side the last time they won in Sydney in 1998. Played now by Andrew Ryan. They go to the right with their captain. Back for Kite, and Kite has pulled down. Queensland win the wrestle 20 metres away from their own line. Oh. Badiris looking left, looking right to Kamali. And then a flying Anasta. Back for Lyon, throws a dummy. Tries to beat them, beats Sivan Asiva. And it's pulled down in a desperate attempt by Stephen Price. Now for Kamali to the 10. Then it goes away. And the 13 is Ryan. It is out from the line. Five gone for the blue. Badiris goes back to Kamali deep. Then it goes quickly. Stewart, flick pass, Anasta. They've got the numbers on the right, but Queensland cover. Last tackle, Billy. Check the ground, he won't by the Maroons. Absolutely brilliant. That man Thurston is getting the plaudits from his teammates. We saw him a few weeks ago playing in a club game against the Bulldogs where he saved try after try. King trying to get it down. No way tonight, baby. The Maroons were there in numbers. Good play on the last play, on the last tackle by the Blues to run the ball. They ran out quickly on Kamali. The Blues were lined out to the right. Almost got to the end goal. But that Maroon scramble defence saved the day again. He might have got plenty of congratulations first to McGreg Inglis, the initial contact. I'm not quite sure whether referee Shane Hayne has set the right precedent for tonight with that tackle on High Marsh on Lockyer. We'll draw a penalty in any other game as no try is signalled. Back to the 20 metre restart. Cameron Smith just waiting to get us underway. Matt Wait, King very ball, close. So Stephen Price. That's one. Tackled just inside his own 30 metre line after a delayed resumption to the game. Carl Webb got his hands on the ball firmly this time. See, that was the start the Blues were looking for too, wasn't it? Price. And there's a knock on him there. Scrum will go down. The celebrations for the Blues at the moment. Yeah, the celebration of the hit from Danny Medeiros, who raced up out of the line and in a copybook low tackle forced the mistake. Leading by example into Stephen Price. Contact around where the ball was being carried. A real chance here for the New South Wales Red, Wizard Red, Blues. 32 metres away from the Queensland line, 20 metres in from touch, eastern side of the grandstand. And this crowd has swollen in the last few minutes. It's Cooper! Tackle a few metres inside the western touch line. Then it's Jared Hayne who runs away from Darren Lockyer, runs into Johnson, and Johnson hits him with a conventional tackle. His target is between the hip and the knee, which used to be the way that Raper taught them. Now it's back for, for Kite, and Kite has tackled inside the 20-metre line. Badiris to the right, to the middle. Mason goes long, back to Kamali. Then deep for an Aston flick pass inside for Simpson. Simpson! Two metres out from the line. Pull down the Nova Castor and Brett Stewart. He's over the kid! Stewart's over! Brett Stewart! Underbill has scored! Well, what a dream 24 hours for the Manly fullback. And what a try scoring record he is amassing. Mal Meninga will be very disappointed. He will have told his team that Brett Stewart at dummy half will go himself. He's done it at club level. Steve Simpson playing like he does for the Knights. Right side, on the edge. Slips under the tackle of Carmichael Hunt to score the first points. That's it. So, we go into a... A break here in Australia for you people taking our telecast overseas. Satanta up in the UK, right through the United Kingdom. Satanta live with the state of origin too. It's going down through the US of A. It's going to Southeast Asia and the South Pacific through TV Australia and through Fox to the Arab states. Well, there's the try scorer, Brett Stewart, the young man who came in in the last day to replace Anthony Minicello. 59 tries at club level from 75. 
It was a barge over try. He has scored many more illustrious tries than this, but maybe not as important. No fear, no hesitation. Just took his club form straight into representative football, said, I'm here to play. Jamie Lyon. Lyon with the kick, straight as a bullet, straight as a gun barrel. And that's what we're doing with Andrew Sideline, straight to you. And absolutely, New South Wales basically doing what Queensland did, opening in origin number one and coming up with a first try. And an amazing run for players called in late into the New South Wales squad. The last couple of times it's happened. Matt Gidley, he was the first try scorer. Brett Finch did it. He was the first try scorer. Tonight, Brett Stewart called in on 24 hours notice. He comes up with a first four-pointer. So restart time again. The young fullback down in the deep. Waits with the master to field it before it goes to Kite. And Brent Kite will play it 10 metres away from the Blues line. They lead 6-0. Try to Brett Stewart, the kid that, when he packs his football bag, he puts the boots and the shorts and whatever else he needs. But, of course, the glucose or the sugar or the lollies, call it what you like, a pack of the snakes will do just to keep the sugar levels up. Diabetes Australia using him very much as a role model for youngsters and others with diabetes. Kamali kicking. Look at this run. Urgently! Good kick by Kamali. Brent T back at his own in goal. Where's the chase? Here's the chase now. They, uh, oh, well, they went up far too keenly and Hunter's come back and away. Good work, Brent Tate. Good work, Carmichael Hunt. And it was a wonderful kick by Kamali, but the defence was so eager. They overshot the tarmac by 100 yards. Oh, really, Mason did. It was a clever kick from Brett Kamali. Took his time. Hunt, like he did so often in game one, striving to get the ball on the full. And 4 0 in on Tate. And there was just one there for Carmichael Hunt to beat. So Queensland are out to their 30 metre line. The telecast on the nine network around Australia. And the charge down. Start tackle counts for the benefit of our Melbourne viewers. The ball rising off the boot Two. is charged down. It's no knock on. It restarts the tackle count. Price, and I know that you people in Melbourne are taking this on delay tonight. Price plays the ball near halfway. His Bell, who missed State of Origin three last year with that uh, depressed fracture of the cheekbone. He plays it back for Cameron Smith to go to Petro Sivanasiva. And he is 42 metres away from the Blues line. So 6 nothing the score. Nine minutes into the game. A try came for Stewart. Thurston kicks long, it'll go deep and dead. Now it's got Andrew Johns in commentary tonight. And Joey, just watching Brett Kamali. He's doing a good job of running this Queensland side around early. And as you know, they can get very tired quickly. Definitely Wait. steering the uh, Blues Wait, around beautifully. It. It's noticeable, they're really... Uh, putting a lot of numbers at Darren Locker. He's already made 10 tackles. Watch for when Ryan Hoffman comes on. He'll pick him out and run straight at him. Kite playing the ball inside the 30-metre line. That's the frame of Simpson, I fancy. There's Hoffman. His dad played for Queensland in non-origin times before the 80s. Jay. But this bloke is a much bigger, a much bigger unit than Jay, let me assure you. And he's a beautiful fringe runner. Here's Ryan. Just outside the 40-metre line, New South Wales end of the park. They've got to win this to keep it alive to go to Brisbane. And the ball goes forward off the hands of Mason, so it'll be a Queensland scrum feed on the halfway. I saw the great Trevor Gilmeister quoted during the week saying that he thinks the Queenslanders have got Willie Mason's number in the way they tackle him. Now, he tore him apart in game one last year, but since then, they've been getting him right up under the belly button and lifting him up under the ball and then joining in in numbers. And a couple of times tonight, Big Willie Mason has been bent back. I don't agree with him playing in the front row, by the way. Too much hack work up there, but the Queenslanders are zeroing in on him. Yeah, that was Dallas Johnson that time, one of the best techniques in the competition. As Hodges can't get around the tackle of Matt Cooper, who seems to recover. Oh, Thurston! Taken in a bear hug and wrestled down by Mason. Talk about David and Goliath. Price, 33 metres away from his own line. Mason embraced him with vigour. Now, good 
work, Johnson. Good work, Lockyer. Now to Bell. To the 20 metre line. The five in from the eastern side. The stands have filled up. It's remarkable how they have filled in the few minutes before kickoff. Seven of Siva driving the Maroon mission towards the southern end. Lockyer, numbers on the blind. Knock on New South Wales, I thought. I thought a master might have knocked on. It's been real sweet. He definitely played it with his foot. Been trying to regather it, the referee has ruled that it went back, propelled back to his own line, Brayton Astor. Home Marsh mark it down as at the moment in the game. Lock you back in the defensive line. And feet, hands, knocked back by hands. I've got to let him go with that, Shane Hay. Definitely feet and off hands it went back. Mason lifting the big thigh high as he's met by Price. Kimorley. And he again finds the dirt. Matthew John said he's got to find dirt. In Brisbane, we didn't find anything other than human flesh. First interchange for New South Wales after 15 minutes. Willie Mason off to the sideline. Brent White, who started the game, only played 32 minutes in game one. Brent is out there now. Oh, Tate. Bent over by a low tackle Hindmarsh and then Badira slammed him over the top. And the 17 Costigan, the mauler from Mackay, is about to come into the game. Here's Cameron Smith. The only forward to have played 80 minutes in the last four Origin matches is the Melbourne captain. It's gone back to Thurston. Looks around, has time. Lockyer. Tackle by Hindmarsh after Badiris made the initial contact. 30 out from the line. Smith for Thurston. Right foot kick high. Into the southeastern corner. And it's forced by the Blues. Knock on off Queensland first. Right, he'll rule a knock on first start breach coming off Queensland. See a pack of scrum. Yes, it looked like Greg Inglis flying high there. Almost gathered the football too. Brett Stewart backing back. In support, Inglis almost took it out of the arms of his opposite player. And no surprise to see Neville Costa get out there. There is more venom in the New South Wales defence in the opening quarter of this game. And Inglis looking for Costigan to instill some into his defence. This is White from Melbourne Storm. And just looking at Willie Mason, he's been sent to the benches to get some breath, get some oxygen back. He's walking up and down the sideline following the game like a touch judge yeah that's what i mean yeah playing him in the front row burns him out too early they've got other players there to do the hack work and when the game's starting to loosen up and you want his big frame on the edges he's on the sideline pacing up and down saying get me back out there Hit. here's brett white going ahead last time i saw him do that he took one across the snows from tony carroll now it's from kamali Matthew John, some news from the sideline. Look, I, do, I just want to talk about Mason for a moment as you see Carmichael Hunt on well, those typical charges back. I don't know. I don't know about bringing Willie off after 15 minutes. Things are going well. Recent history has shown when Mason's not out there, things go good for Queensland. Another brilliant exhibition by Kamali while we take some pictures from the sideline of Mason. But Kamali, his kick and chase and his tackle on Hunt, he's out there to make hay while the sun shines. There's no doubt about that. Kamali desperate to eradicate his more recent memories of origin. 40 metres out from the New South Wales line. They work it across the back for Thurston to Lockyer to Hodges. Hodges away off the foot. It rolls down into the end goal. Stewart rates it dead in goal. Oregon's just not about scoring tries. It's about saving tries. Brett Stewart scored one from dummy half. Now with great awareness is able to get across the field and defuse a very dangerous situation. Well done by the young man. Good play by Queensland. Beautiful ball by Lockyer. Gets the ball to, onto Hodges. Hodges with the kick. Made good ground here, Tate. And rather than take any risks, Stewart says, we'll just get it out over the dead ball line. We'll give it back to you and we'll tackle again. Yes, it's easy to get carried away with his try scoring ability. But the one thing you want in a fullback is reliability. And he is as safe as. We've seen him already take a couple of high balls. Defensively sound. Slow restart here from Braithen Astor to give his troops plenty of breath. And it's a beauty. 55 metres on the carry. 
And the workaholic comes back to be met heavily. Collision between Price and Bailey. Who's had that sternum problem or pectoral muscle problem. Probably needled for the game. 32 metres out. Hodges went in quick. He's looking for work, Justin. Dallas Johnson, Stephen Price, Jonathan Thurston driving defence. Blues go for it. Maroons get it. Play by Hunt. Play back to Costigan. That's a story in itself. Neville Costigan, disciplined by Brisbane and sacked. Went to Canberra, comes back at origin. From Smith to Thurston, he tries to pirouette. Tries to get out of the tackle, but he can't. Kamali made it with Simpson. Short side play, Cameron Smith. It's a try for Queensland. Here they come. Inglis. Inglis has scored his fifth try in three origin matches. Well, it was a scrappy one, but they all count. Last tackle, Cameron Smith deciding to run it on the last, down the short side, through the short pass. It eventually found the ground and Greg Inglis. And he, he's just getting them at origin level, as Ray pointed out. That's number five, just game number three. Is overseas is keeping you abreast of our activities here on the host broadcast emanating from nine Australia. Just a half minute break while they line the kick up, and certainly hoping you're enjoying every moment of it. It's not letting us down yet. Inglis, the try scorer. Welcome back to the Olympic Stadium, Telstra. Greg Inglis, five tries in origin from three appearances. And that's a real concern for New South Wales. Queensland haven't spent much time down that end of the field. The first time they got some quality possession and a bit of it in a row. They were able to get across as Thurston looks to even up the score. After 21 minutes, still to see a penalty tonight. And another spot-on kick. From Jonathan Thurston takes us to six all. Watch a great dummy half in action here in Cameron Smith. Watch the way when he goes to dummy half, he looks in field, looks in field, looks in field, but he knows that his Melbourne teammate, Matt King, will come in in defence when pressured. They got them three times in Origin 1, and he knows that his other teammate, Greg Inglis, will be there waiting for him. A little Melbourne on Melbourne action there, but great dummy half play from Cameron Smith. Looked in field, looked in field, then turned straight around and looked at Matty King and said, Come here, boy. And he put his other mate in for the try. Beautiful. So the Blues, they have the job of restarting. Six points all. Brett Stewart scores at the ninth minute. Greg Inglis at the 21st minute. Both goal kickers on line. Jamie Lyon, the only New South Wales kicker. Queensland have got the, the liberty of three in their ranks, but Thurston has the job at the moment. Seven Asiba thunders it out towards the 30-metre line. He's met and pulled down by Ryan down low and Hindmarsh up the top. Then it goes away to Price, and Price is pulled down on the 40-metre line. Tackle there by White and Badiris. Slow play the ball from Price. Smith puts a kick in. It's gone down the narrow side of the, go of the ground and is brought back by Stewart. And up they go, and Costigan gets there first. Bell is there, they try to jolt the ball free. Now Jared Hayne goes in for work. And Jared, who scored that wonderful try in Brisbane, plays it. Bailey runs it. The Gold Coast Titans joint captain, 33 metres out from his line. Now it's away for Kamali to go back for Hindmarsh to look for a gap. And Hindmarsh has tackled 40 out from his own line. Six points all then. Questions being asked of both teams. Nine Maroons playing tonight have played in the last four Origin games. For the Blues, only four. To the boot of Kamali again. High. Making Hunt cover a little bit of ground. Giving him something to think about. But again, Carmichael is equal to it. Yes, yeah, beautifully taken. It was a difficult one for Carmichael Hunt. The ball was swirling. There's no doubt the Queensland side have lifted in intensity. Some of the tackles in their last set of six were beauties. Never takes his eye off the football, Carmichael Hunt. Even though it dipped late and away from him to the left. 
he was up to the task. Just inside their 30 metre line with Stephen Bell playing it back to Inglis and Inglis as you would have seen there just a brief example he can go from standing still to absolutely flying in the space of five or six metres that's a big kick and really that's the name of the game get it down there tackle look, look for a mistake and then put your plays together here's Stewart I think Blues coach Graham Murray has got to address that dummy half running at half time because uh, Hodges Tate Inglis have all made good ground out of dummy half around the middle of the field it seems like a deliberate tactic from the Queenslanders here's Jamie Lyon on an arc like run and then passing Cooper loses it knock on good play Queensland they push Cooper into error well, they pass to him under pressure however yeah I'm not quite sure whether Matt Cooper's to blame there not often you see centre pass to centre but Jamie Lyon here he didn't do any favours for Matt Cooper who really should have taken it, but he had someone in his face coming at speed and just had that little bit of a look. Brett Tate did well. Oh, geez, Petty. You know, there are times in Origin where you've just got to take your hit. And Jamie Lyon should have taken a hit for the team there. He should have said, OK, I've run out of room. I'll get belted rather than dump the problem off to Cooper. Here's Queensland attacking with Hunt coming around from the back. Stand up. Ten metres out from the line. Blues under pressure again. Bell first and cost again. Five out. Up now, Steve. Smith dummy half. Johnson might be a decoy. He is. Thurston back for Lockyer. Oh, picked up and driven down. The dearest was the tackler. Nine out. Centre ground to the right. Thurston stepping back into the big man. Look for the wide flat pass. That was successful for Steve Price in game one. So from Smith. Back behind two. Lockyer jinx and comes back. And again, he hits the big man. Three metres out, five gone. Smith looks. Carroll gives him a decoy. The kick is forced in goal by the Blues. Again, Cameron Smith, very cagely, looks to his right-hand side on last play. And at the last moment, goes back to his left. Here's the hit by Badiris on Lockyer. Zeroed in on the opposition playmaker, tried to dish out some punishment. Cameron Smith, look right, look right, go left. Well, Gus, he hasn't missed a minute under Mel Meninga, Cameron Smith. He's played 80 in all four games. They've got to fight fire with fire and leave Danny Badiris out there for that time as well. He's, he averaged less than Simon Siva and Steve Price in game one, the two starting props for the opposition. Line drop out again is full of volume. 55 metres on the fly for Stephen Price. Movement! He's dead! You get tired watching Price and Simon Siva. Hoffman's about to get into his first origin game. Dallas Johnson, his Melbourne teammate, is with the ball at the moment. So then, Nate Miles is in the game as well as it comes across the back to Thurston to hit Bell flat, hard, up the eastern side of the ground, 20, 20 out. Stephen Bell from Manly plays the ball. It comes to Thurston, turns it in. It's with Price again. He's able to stand and offload for Smith to go to Thurston to go to Lockyer. He jinks and spins and pirouettes and goes further. He goes inside the 10. Well, he was swivelling everywhere just looking for the white line. Watch him here. He dances, he prances, he dummies, he spins around again. Around he goes, he's pushing backwards. So he was tackled on three. This is four. Johnson away. Lock you behind. Hard come. Michael Hunt got it away, but it's gone loose. Pressure from the Blues. Inglis close to the sideline. He stays in ground. So here is the last now for the Maroons as Thurston puts in a little variation. It will go dead, yes! It only just, it only just answered the prayer of Brett Stewart. It was an unexpected kick from Jonathan Thurston, who's not happy with the result. Cameron Smith led the charge. It's not normally where the kicks go on the last tackle. Good decision from Matt King to come in on that last attacking raid. You really are starting to cause some problems out wide.
as Brett White picks up six metres from the restart. Rabbits will just bring Andrew Johns in again. Peter Sterling made a comment about Danny Badiris. Andrew, I don't think they're playing enough off Danny Badiris. He just seems to be shoveling the ball tonight where his ball-playing skills have got more to offer. Yeah, I don't know if it's the game plan or not, but Badiris seems to be getting out of dummy half and just shoveling it to his, his bigger forwards. Badiris is at his best when he gets out and takes on the bigger forwards like Price and Seven and and plays through the line. Here he is just doing that for Bailey, and Bailey will play the ball just short of halfway. Here's Badiris, has a look, gives it to Hoffman, and Hoffman is taken down by Price and Carroll. Price has already done enough for the night. He doesn't need to do any more to get a fairly high rating. Come on, his kick finds the line. Well, Brett Tate, I'm sure he thought, what am I going to do here? Brent Tate, I should say, and it's just got inside the line. It was a nice leave by Brent Tate. It was like the opening batsman. He lets him go about an inch outside his off stump. He was about to play at it and then took the bat away and said, no, I won't get a snick on that. Kamali tested him out. Watch, he's got the hands ready. He's got the bat ready. No, I won't play at that. Let's it go through to the keeper. Whew. So Maroons told to put it in again. It's six points all. Converted try to both teams. Similar situation to the way it unfolded in Brisbane as far as the scoreboard is concerned. Play by Tate back to Thurston, Thurston to Costigan, and Costigan has tackled 35 away from his own line. Neville Costigan plays the ball back and Smith gets it away for Price. Looking at Costigan and Johnson, it sort of emphasises you don't have to be a man mountain to play forwards. Cameron Smith is with it now. Just a big heart, Rabbits, that's all they need. They've all got them out there, all 34 players. You say the scoring is the same. First, they're looking for gaps down the short side. The scoring's the same, but it's a very different sort of foot game of football. The Blues are right in this one. So here's Cameron Smith kicking very high. Plenty of hang time. The chase is there, but Stewart is equal again. Wonderful initiation to the representative arena. I know he's played for country, but this is the highest level. Domestically, and Stewart why, on camera. Sorry, Rabbits, that's why City Country is important. Now, the fact that he actually played in a rep game a couple of weeks ago helps him mentally get ready for this one. If he was coming straight out of club football, totally different. Matt King, just inside the 30 metre line. Fourth tackle gone. About eight and a half minutes of the first half to go with White dragging it up towards the 40 metre line. This is the last tackle. And Badera sweeps it to Kamali's right foot. Kamali, he's never really had a kick without, without some pressure, but he still managed to find some ground. Find some dirt. Oh, Tate! Hit by a shoulder from Heinmarsh. Andrew, sideline. And Willie Mason off in the 16th minute, about to come back on in the 33rd minute for Queensland. Of all the starting front rows in the game, Stephen Price has played an uninterrupted 32 minutes. And Greg Inglis just seeing a little bit of daylight. A little bit of space, I should say. Mason waiting to come back into it. The Maroons with Sean Berrigan on in 14. He will play at five short of halfway. Tackler was Bailey in 14. White in eight. Now short ball for Miles. And Miles, who, as I said earlier, has played 33 minutes of football in the last eight weeks. It's hardly the preparation. Here's Cameron Smith going through the middle. To the 20 metre line. That dummy half running is a real problem. They're doing a lot of it. New South Wales aren't handling it. Lockyer putting it on the chest of Costigan. Costigan loses the ball. Stewart snapped it up. And that area is not going to get any easier with Sean Berrigan injected into the play. He was an unsung hero three weeks ago. And he will take some pressure off Cameron Smith. Basically plays as just a, a lazy around the ruck area and follows. We'll pack into lock at some stage, but keep an eye on Berrigan as well as New South Wales look to work it out. Brett Kamali trying to find support. Oh, get shot the charge by Nate, Nate Miles. Miles. It was in 16, and Cameron Smith was in the tackle as well. But that was what I was talking about. He had nowhere to go, so he took the hit for his team. He didn't dump it off to someone else. I don't mind that. He said, I'll take the shot rather than force the pass. Here's Cooper now, weaving his way out from the 40-metre line. Gus, we're going to audiences such as in Victoria, you're talking about the dummy half running. He's going to have to ha try and address that, Graham Murray, the coach. 
what sort of measures is he going to adopt then to stop these fellows that are just lightning out of dummy half? We're going to talk about that at half time. We'll have film of what Queensland are doing to them. We'll talk about the market defence and the awareness around the rucks that New South Wales have got to have. It's a different tactic from Queensland. We've never seen a lot of it in previous origins, but it might be part of Mal Meninga's game plan for this slippery Telstra Stadium surface. There's no doubt about that because that's why he's now shot Berrigan into the game. Berrigan is notorious for it. He's one of our best. That's him with the ball passing this time for the 16 miles and miles will play it five meters from halfway 34 minutes of the game gone price he's taken down with a good shot over the top by white in fact it was jamie lyon who came over the top of badiris first and puts a kick in again he goes deep it sits up and it looks at brett stewart stewart goes away Runs away from Hayne, ran straight into first and knocked him down. But two other Queenslanders, Johnson and Miles, were there to make the tackle as Bird goes into the game. So, Bird from Cronulla, a product of Maitland football. He is in the game and he's with the football. 31 metres out from the line. Baderas for Mason. Mason! Striding out up towards halfway. He will play the ball this time for Badiris to go to Bailey. Bailey, seven or eight metres into Queensland's area. Hindmarsh back to the benches. Badiris flat. Hoffman's with it. Hoffman, it got knocked down. It's picked up by Queensland. It was interesting that. Had he have ruled that it was knocked out of his grasp by a Queenslander, the other Queenslander could well have been deemed to be offside, even if it was only accidental offside. Ben Eichen, sideline. I'm loving this performance by Queensland. It's full of patience and composure. This bloke, Steve Price, has been outstanding. As has his front row partner, Petro Sivanasiva. You know what? I've got a feeling it's hoodoo breaking time. At the moment, you've got uh, a problem with Costigan in 17. Neville took a, a, a leg injury of some description while Ben was barracking for Queensland. God bless him. Now it's come from seven receiver for Berrigan for Thurston. Mason gets a bear hug on him, but he gets out of it. One takes him a second. Played by Jonathan. Now it goes away for Darren Lockout. He puts it up high. Precise. Oh, Brett Stewart. Well, you swear this kid has played 25 games of origin like Darren Lockyer. Not on Daboo. What a first half for the 19. So inside the 20 metre line. It's with Bird. And he's able to stand and propel the ball back for Badiris to take it up the middle. So Badiris. The skipper plays it. We have seen points scored just coming into halftime in a number of origins in recent years as Shane Hayne puts the hand up to signal last tackle. Kamali on the shorter side again tries to get the ball between fullback and winger. This time Brent Tate able to take it. But the chase from the Blues is good. Only thing missing that time was Brett Kamali who's led the chase every time. It's been an effort of gigantic proportions by Kamali. To get the records right, people think it was the forward pass, or should I say the pass that went to Bowen that got him the sack. Berrigan's with the ball. I'm of the belief that it was his kicking game, if my information's correct, in the first half of that game. First and then with a the right foot stab into the corner. Back goes Jared Hain. Will he get back? Will he get back? Will he get back? No, the answer is definitely no. Just let it go, no, let it go. First and a great kick and a wonderful chase. Don't six six the score with two and a quarter minutes to go. How good is this? You're watching it on nine around Australia and in various parts of the United Kingdom, America, Asia, the South Pacific. This is origin. This is the epitome of rugby league being played out the blues do they live do they die queensland no they'll get another chance they haven't put them to bed in games one and two since 1995 queensland 
Thurston goes back for Sivana Seba, and Bailey lines him up, but doesn't make much of an imprint on this giant of a man with an insatiable desire to work. Miles loses the ball. And they'll get a set of six. No way. Smith on camera. He's an Iron Man, the Melbourne Nine. Nate Miles. Light on preparation. Knock on. They'll get a set. Cameron, a look, a look of almost disbelief. Probably wanting to say something that would have been less than encouraging, but shutting his mouth wisely. Just outside 20. Won by the Blues. Jamie Lyon looks for a gap down the left side of Queensland. Hunt makes the tackle. Here is King to the 40-metre line. So the second is down. Half a minute to go. And now it's Jamie Lyon. Badiris as they play for Mason to the 40 meter line held down Queensland slowing to play the ball down as much as they can bird to the line 31 away on five I make it arm in the air and Asta gets rid of the tackler gets it to Mason to finish the first 40 at six points all. New South Wales almost reenacting what Jared Hayne did three weeks ago. Wonderful crowd here. As we welcome you back live to Telstra Stadium in Sydney. Watching Origin 2 for Harvey Norman unfold. Well, it really hasn't unfolded at all at the moment. They're deadlocked at 6-6. Queensland with a chance to take the series and level the series at 12-12 if they win this one tonight. Aiming for their fourth straight win in a row. The two at the back end of last year plus game one this year. Puts them in the same position as Wally Lewis's team in 88 and 89. No penalties in 40 minutes of football. That is incredible. Well, it's a sign of the very good discipline from both teams. They've both been aggressive, haven't gone over the top. There was a big focus coming into this game as Brett Kamali laying down the law there, telling his players exactly what he wants from them. And that's good stuff. That's what he needs to do. And Queensland, well, I'll be very happy with proceedings. Just looking at the first half minutes, Johnson played unbroken, so did Smith. And for the Blues, Badiris and Ryan went the whole distance, which they probably will do again. Heinmarsh, 33 tackles in 33 minutes. And maybe some of Danny Badiris' problem is coming from the fact that he's carrying a huge load in defence as well. He's up in the 20s. As Darren takes them back. Record show to win the first game gives you a 75% chance of winning the series. Well, the last two winners in the opening game have suffered a 2-1 series loss. That just doesn't quite add up, does it? But it's a fact. There's been some magical moments in this game. Though. I mean, for this youngster, Stuart from Manly, to come into origin like he has in the last 24 hours and have the half of football that he had, wonderful. Blues are back. Amazing, you know, we're sitting here half an hour before kickoff, and I thought to myself, well, there's 30,000 people missing here. And then all of a sudden, they've come out of the private entertainment areas and the bars and what have you. And uh, Telstra went full. It makes a wonderful coliseum for sport. Wonderful arena for, as I said at the opening, Australian 
sport's greatest rivalry. That's a shot looking down the ground, obviously, you from know those, the southern end. Those corporate areas fairly well raised. We spend most of your time out here. Thank you, Peter, which reminds me that uh, we're looking for the Tui's new man of the match. Well, the Australian selectors are. That's their job tonight. And thank you to Tui's for making that possible during the origin. We're back underway with Hoffman first touch, Bailey second collision. And they're just inside the 30 metre line, their own end of the park. They were down on possession by 10% at half time. Mason did well, got it away. Hoffman runs it with a fend. And he's 38 metres out from his own line. The Blues, though, with work to do. How do they counter these speedsters? Out of dummy half, particularly. Hunt, 29 metres out, right in front of his own sticks. Taken down by Badiris. Hodges, hair closely cropped tonight. Tate, did well early. Just outside the 30, a run for miles. 30 or 42 metres out from the line. It's gone to Berrigan. And Berrigan is brought down right on halfway at the end of four. Right in the Harvey Norman sign. Cameron Smith getting away from the opposite number. Baderas has tackled. And so to the final. The final tackle on this set for Queensland. Their first of the second half. Thurston goes high. Hain is underneath it. Just inside his own 20 metre line. Now for Cooper. The Dragons flyer. Up the middle. 27 metres out. Played for King. Scored three tries in an origin match. A couple of years ago. Inside 40, Badira short, Bailey short, Mason with it. And Mason will almost make halfway. It's all very tense, isn't it? Everyone's gone quiet. Crowd's gone quiet. Here's Greg Bird. Not the least bit overawed by his entry into Origin football. The kid from Maitland. From Kamali to Anasta to Ryan to Ryan. Jamie puts a kick in the bounce, it's good for Stuart, no! Well, normally that would have stuck. Here is Hunt turning it around. I've seen Stuart do some incredible things at Brookvale. One night against the West Tigers. I've got no doubts he would have got a clutch on that. I can't believe it was a set sequence to spread the ball out there and kick for him, but he seemed to know it was on, and he nearly got the ball. Tremendous awareness by him. Beware, Inglis is with the ball. Smith, short for seven as Siva, running it at the seven, Kamali. That's a good plan for the big fella. Hoffman got involved. They're 35 out. Thurston goes back. Lockyer, mm, almost causing obstruction, but no. Thurston in traffic, weaving, dancing, and taken down. Five gone for the Moreau. 28 away, six points all in origin two. Lockyer's kick, tackle wasn't late. King is above them. King wins the fly, wins the contest. Eight metres, or 18 metres out from his line. Then for Manasta to Jamie Lyon. Surrender! Two! Sivan are holding him down with Smith. And they're soaking up as many seconds as they can in the tackles, the Queenslanders, particularly you're allowed to do that in dominating tackles thus getting a roll out of there from dummy half hasn't been as available for the blues as it has for queensland but that has been brought about by our lack of marker defense and not slowing it down as much as we could to the 40 meter line kamali driving it down towards stephen bell Bell 15 out to the middle of the ground for Carmichael and Kamali. Gee, he's dug well in that department. Hunt plays it back for Bell. Here's Bell taken down on the 20 meter line as he headed off towards the Western touch line. Inglis is with it again. The electric Inglis. 
thirst and short for miles who seemingly is running as well and as strongly on this limited preparation as ever seven of Siva is tackled right in the center of the ground five gone Marones to play it to use up the final tackle Thurston drills it Hain gets a but gets a bounce off the uprights so the young Parramatta winger has to spin and come back and did well well Meningham's made a small change to his team for this second half he swapped his centers over Stephen Bell normally plays on the other side and Justin Hodges slotted across Hoffman hit hard on the side of the ruck. Lockyer involved with Berry again. Bird. Bird standing. Upright tackle. He'll have to call it, surely. That's how injuries happen when you let them stand for that long. Here's Kamali put down on the 40. Was there a knock on? Queensland appeals for it. Five gone against the Wizard Blues. And Astor drives it down. And Carmichael Hunt comes away from his 10 meter line, crosses 20. There's the bunny hop. There's the hop step and the jump to the 30 meter line. Well, like a couple of big heavyweight fighters just standing in the middle of the ring. No one's really throwing a punch at the moment. It's just so they're trying to sort each other out and work out where the fight's going to go from here. I think as soon as one throws a punch, it'll be on again. But at the moment, they're just stalking each other. Not much doing at all. Bell played the ball. It went through Webb, first and Lockyer. Oh! certainly were sorting themselves out then that's for sure Cooper could not quite get it to stick and Tate would be aching as Cameron Smith again rips them open up the middle Berrigan for Thurston then back for Costigan now for seven a Siva met by Bird Bird and Ryan they put him down 19 out from the line the big front rower plays it Smith goes to the to the right and then steps off his right foot to go up the middle he's proving a problem Cameron Smith Berrigan seven receiver seven receiver buried buried by Mason five gone they've stacked the left first of a kick and oh Inglis has missed it 20 meter. Greg Inglis no has gone so close tantalizingly close well, they went to Matt King's wing again. He came in. They got the kick past him. But Inglis, with the big fingers, couldn't get it down. The tactic was obvious once more. And they nearly pulled their pants down in the corner. In the same corner. They keep going there, Rabbits. Here we go again. Pants getting pulled down. Just want to bring Andrew Johns in. Looking at these tackle counts, Joey. Darren Lockyer has had to make 21 tackles, but the other playmaker in the Queensland side, Jonathan Thurston, has only been forced to make five. Is New South Wales attacking the right side of the field? Well, it's they're showing their game plan. It's it's all they're trying to do is channel Darren Lockyer. There, there was thoughts that Darren Lockyer was a poor defender. That's not the case anymore. He's a strong defender. I like to see him attack Thurston more often. Come to this side of the field. They did in the first half. They hit Simpson and they scored the next play. Kamali working a play with Stewart. Kamali, he knows the youngster from Manly. He's got a touch of class about him. Kamali high. Oh, what a take by Inglis. The Stormer above them. First in for Bell, a former Storm player now with Manly. And there might be better players to kick to high than Greg Inglis. No one better in the game than climbing and and this is a game at the moment that is suiting Queensland the longer the game goes the more New South Wales could get nervous they have got to win this game so if the punches are to be thrown they are the ones that have to take the initiative and start throwing them it's not a matter of not losing it they have to win it Hunt playing the ball Lockyer shaped to kick the dearest took his legs five gone there's the kick for Thurston and it's drilled deep down the ground for a backpedalling Brett Stewart.
Jarrett comes back. He'll play, I would hope, for Manly against Souths on Friday. King to the 40-metre line. Six all, second down for the Blues. No penalties first half. An incredible origin game. And there's a penalty going to the Blues. Andrew sideline. Well, Ray Gus and Sterlo are talking figuratively in boxing terms about the two teams throwing punches and, and the like. Well, I'm going to say, making no apologies, given the build-up to this match, there's a good portion of this crowd that came here tonight thinking, literally, there would be the tempest flaring up, a punch-up. I think it's time for a bit of gym music. This match has to liven up. This crowd has to get in the game if New South Wales are going to lift. Bailey there. I'll tell you what, this penalty will help the Blues. They were struggling there, but they get a chance to play a couple of sets at the right end of the field. Now, he's Mason. Mason Who's dead? is ripping them apart with those big legs pumping. Kamali a juggle, and then hesitation for Hoffman. Nine outs to the southern uprights they run. Baderas back, Kamali deep. Then is a start flick, Ryan. And Ryan able to flick again. Then Stewart. Now back to Lyon. Lyon back to Kamali. Surely they'll run out of numbers in a moment. The fly is on. The ball is down. It's with Queensland. It's Brent Tate, the saviour, again. Oh, that was an impulse kick. That was an impulse kick. The attack was building nicely. Queensland were at sixes and sevens. Seven to seven now, then. Impulse kick, maybe, but brilliant rugby league. Razzle-dazzle stuff. Could have resulted in Hain flying through the air to score, but no, it was Tate. Again, defending, saving try, as importantly as scoring them. An art that he also knows something about. Lockyer, left foot deep, but it's going straight to... The target of Stewart, he's outside 30, he's going fast and straight. And down he goes on the 40-metre line. Gee, has been good, hasn't he? Hasn't he been brilliant? His brother, his entire family, Father Barry, Mum, Norell, they can be rightly proud of their boy from the Red Devils of Wollongong. They came as a package to Manly when they were 15, the Stewart brothers. Manly wanted Brett, but he didn't want to come without his brother, so they bought them both. Bailey for Kamali, Kamali for Anasta for Bird. Bird then down the right side, and Bell tries to throw the bird out of the cage. Five tackles gone. Anasta high, and again he's up there. But there was no contest that time. Andrew Johns, just looking at the New South Wales ball players, it looks to me like they've got more room in front of them to threaten the line, but we're passing very early. When there's space, Gus, you know, you just got to take it. You've got to take them on. This, this surface here, it's a running game. You don't want to be passing. Well, there is an interesting change. For the first time under Mal Meninga, Cameron Smith goes to the sideline. Four games where he's gone the duration. As Petro Sivnasiva takes it forward, centre field on the last... They look really tired, Queensland. I know I've said this about them a few times in the first cup, but they look really tired. King. King. With a shunting run. You said that at Suncorp and they put 25 points on them. I said that. I, I know I said it, but they look tired at the moment. It's whether New South Wales can come up with the spark with the play, but they're just not threatening the line enough. They've got to get up on the line and threaten these fellas with big bodies hitting holes. Bailey played it to Bird. Bird went behind Mason. Mason went to Kamali. And then a Nasta. And the Nasta's in the middle of the ground. Four tackles gone. The 23 away. A little bit of work by Badiris. At the back of the ruck for Mason. Flop down for Badiris. Given to Kamali. Given to Bird. Bird is 18 out. Now they're 15 out. Jamie Lyon. Can he get rid of the ball? No. Taken by Inglis and uh, covered up. Ryan for Kamali. Right foot kick. Right foot kick, work for Lockyer, and Lockyer bats it. Lockyer bats it. Well, that is the strength of Brett Kamali. He is very, very good at waiting the right kick into the in goal area. Certainly at club level. And Darren Lockyer, Bill has talked about tiredness. 
Still down on his saunches after being forced to play. This didn't want to, wanted it to go dead, but had no choice. Could hear the footsteps coming. Well, that was the perfect kick. His last kick was a poor one, Kamali, but that's exactly what they wanted, the repeat set of six here. Look, if the Blues can come up with the right number here, I think the winning of the game is as simple as the next couple of minutes for the Blues if they can post points. Look at this drop kick from oh my Queensland God. with the bounce added on. It's gone 70 metres. Jared Hay swivels and makes about 25 metres in the other direction. Well, it's a huge effort from Darren Lockyer, but how does a ball go 60 metres on the full and not get taken before it bounces? As the ball goes loose from Ryan Hoffman, cleaned up quickly, Dallas Johnson, but ball he's ball lost ball. it one-on-one. -on -one. It will be interesting, the scrum feed here. It's a bad error by the Blues. Good run here by Jared Hayne. He had to go back and field this ball. Bang! The young fella loves a little bit of collision. Well, it looks like Queensland are going to get the scrum feed here. And that's just a soft turnover for the Blues. They had them on the rack. So it's with Stephen Bell now for that's Queensland. Good. The score. He's dead! Still at six points all. Stewart a try for New South Wales, first of the night. Inglis a try for Queensland. Both were converted. There's the interchanges. New South Wales have made two less than Queensland. Now they're just inside the 40-metre line at the Blues' end of the park. Slow play the ball, Berrigan. And Berrigan is pulled down by Badiris. He and Ryan made the tackle, and they probably will both go AD knock on against the Queenslanders. And Lockie is not happy about it. And he shouldn't be, he shouldn't be happy either, because if this was a club match, I'm pretty sure the markers would have been pinched for not being square. No penalties in this game, and I'm happy if that's the way it goes for the rest of the game. But we'll just watch the markers here and how quickly they get to Lockyer. The Badiris never really got back and came around and attacked. That's a penalty every NRL game. And it has been an area that referees have been very strong on get in, there in the opening half of the season. Well, it's a oh, red flag ball. to the Maroons. They can do it too get if in. they like now. Yeah. So, a scrum one by the Blues where they seemingly wanted to keep it in the pack as long as they could and roll the pack forward. Ryan is with the ball. He's eight metres his own side of halfway. Held by Price and Berrigan. Penalty Blues, second of the game. Second of the game, and they've both gone in the same direction. Kiwi tap. Kiwi. Well, a couple of very favourable calls here in a row. Brett Kamali finds touch, 35 metres from the opposition line. I'd like to see some second phase play here. I'd like to see the big men hit it up, attract a couple of turn and find support. Here's Mason. Mason bowling them over like ten pins. The move is called Kiwi. As it goes left, it's with Ryan. And 12 out. Now it should start to unfold more. But there is for Bailey. Bailey drills it up the middle, tries to shoulder and poke his nose through the gap. Badiris at the back of three. Kamali wide for flying an Asta. Inside ball, Hoffman. And the Melbourneian is tackled. Plays it for Badiris. Now Kamali. Then short, back to Ryan. Tackle at the end of five. Still something left, maybe. Baderas to Kamali. Puts the kick back in the opposite direction. And it's batted by Queensland. Will break and come back. Yes, we are in a break. And we will be back in just a moment. Six points all. Nothing new in origin, the intensity, the class, the stamina, all of those words. 59 minutes of the game gone. Tate is injured. He's been so safe. Well, the 
problem here is with Brent Tate as we welcome you back to our coverage. Right, let's go, guys. He must have landed awkwardly when he batted the ball dead on the previous kick. He's been crooked for a little while. Gus Ray pointed it out that talked about him limping back in defence. Well, he flies high for that one without any problem. He may have hurt himself in the right, but he, he hasn't been 100% for probably five or ten minutes. But he's battling on as Anasta finds Mason back on the inside. Again, trampling over players. Well, he's the go-to man, Mason. He's the one that's causing the problems for the Maroons at the moment. Bailey is playing a support role. Mason is buffeting them. Here's Kamali directing traffic. Anasta looks sharp. 22 out, middle ground. Berrigan made the tackle with Lilliman. Baderas. Now it's with Hindmarsh, and he's tackled inside 20 at the end of four tackles. Baderas again, they come back to the western side. Kamali decided to challenge himself, and he's brought down by Berrigan. Baderas to Anasta. He puts in a kick! Inglis is with it, and he gets it into the field of play. All too easy to read. I don't understand settlers. In the middle of a tackle count, 20 metres out from the opposition line. Hindmarsh took one up. Kamali then took one up. And then a kick that was always covered. No real pressure on the defence. Carmichael Hunt takes it out to the 11 metre mark. Now Carl Webb gets involved. Cameron Smith back in the action. Yes. Carl Webb playing the ball on the 20 metre line. And as you can see, Brent Tate has succumbed to that injury and has limped off the field. Stephen Bell goes on to the right wing. It'll be a reshuffle. Carroll would probably go to the centres, Pete. First in. Well, they might put Berrigan out there and put Cameron Smith back to hooker. I see Cameron Smith out there at dummy half there. Yeah, that's what they've done. Berrigan to the left centre. And as predicted, the score is level with 20 minutes to go. We've got a real origin game here, boys. And it's who handles the last 20 minutes the best, as it should be in state of origin. Here's Matt King. They picked him up to the horizontal and then they thought about it and put him down on the halfway line. And for a comment on the sideline. Yeah, just keeping tabs of interchange. An interesting one on Brent Kite. He's up on his feet at the moment, but he's been off since the 17th minute. And for those keeping tabs on Nathan Hindmarsh, if he plays unchanged right through to the finish, it means he will have only played 56 minutes tonight. Normally an 80-minute player at club level. Fourth tackle against the Blues. They're on the 30-metre line. Queensland end. Kamali for Bailey. Bailey running at a price, looking around to unload. 25 out. Tate is going up the tunnel. He's been a hero oh. for Queensland. Penalty goes to Queensland. It goes against Mark Bailey for pushing the defender away. It's a soft penalty. In a game where we have only seen three awarded, I know it's against the rules, but if you're not going to penalise, yeah, it's a silly penalty. But really, if you're not going to penalise Nathan Hindmarsh for hitting Darren Lockyer high, <laughs> it's... Stephen Price could probably bench squat about 300 kilo. He's got one little knock from Bailey there on the leg and thrown himself down to grab the penalty, please. First gen for Carroll. Oh, can you smell them coming, Rabbits? I can... <laughs> can you smell them no, coming? No, but I was going to remind you that it's in the rule book. Here's Price with the ball. You can't, I you can't argue blame you Stephen Price. I you, won't argue with you over rules. You will find a penalty in every ruck if you want to that's in the rule book. Now it's come from Webb to Lockyer. They're ganging up now, eh? Gould and Sterling. Come and get me. 20 metres out from the Blues line. Smith to Webb. Oh, that's forward surely to Price. No, it's gone to Thurston. He puts a kick. and that's all that matters. As and Stephen, they can't go back on it. Uh, Stephen Bell, who slotted onto that right wing for the injured Brent Tate. Again, a noted try scorer. Came into Origin last year. Late in his career and takes advantage of a brilliant kick. That's the pass. That was doubtful. But it was called play on. And then Jonathan Thurston. Sizes up the situation, sees Jared Hayne coming forward, commits him, and then slots it in, and Steve Bell does the rest. Oh, well. 
I've got to say, I have got to say, I thought there was a forward pass there of blatant proportions. Stephen Bell, meantime, has been awarded a try. And of course, in our game, the video referee cannot interfere on matters of forward passes leading to tries. So Stephen Bell, this former Melbourne player, now with Manly, who knows how to find the try line, and he picked that ball up. It was a magnificent pickup by Bell off the kick from this bloke Thurston. He did a wonderful job, Thurston. He brought Hayne into him, then he plugged it, and the bounce was just right on time for Bell and the pickup half volley stuff now Thurston from touch I love watching the swing on the Jonathan Thurston kick out she goes and coming back too much another break back in a moment so Jonathan Thurston Mal Meninga, of course, coach, record point scorer at origin level. Bell, the try scorer. Kickoff time for Anasta. Queensland go to a four point lead. We are back on the end of the first tackle with Queensland now leading by four and getting closer by the minute to winning the series. Yeah, Rabbits, that misconversion by Jonathan Thurston now would be like a breath of fresh air to New South Wales. They know a try and a goal still wins this. Here's Hodges. It could well be a case of next try wins. White making the tackle on Hodges. Smith gives it on to Thurston. His reading of the game for the Bell try was just so good. Here's Stewart again, an impeccable performance by Stewart. Yeah, that try, I love the way that Thurston just kept watching Jared Hayne to see what he was looking at. Jared Hayne was looking backwards, so he didn't kick. As soon as he looked forward and came forward, he put the kick in behind him. It was brilliant stuff. King tries to push his shoulders through the gap. Matty John sideline as Brent Kite goes ahead. Yeah, Rebs, New South Wales have had all the running in the second half, but we find ourselves behind 10-6. Now they have to start to play with a bit of imagination. This is a real test on the ball players. I think we need all the creative players we can out there. Greg Bird's on the bench at the moment. I'd be getting him out there. Kamali keeping it down low. A kick from outside the 40. Lollies around, bobbles around, and Hunt comes back with it towards centre ground. And the 15, Stephen Simpson, brings him down with Kamali. You can't complain about Kamali's kicking game. I could probably label one kick as poor or impromptu, but the rest of it has been outstanding. He's given his team every chance. Stephen Bell looking for and finding the ground. Play the ball. Smith didn't realise that he'd played it. Lilliman is with it now. They're 25 metres out from their own line. The Queenslanders 10, New South Wales 6. Queensland, 4x. Amy Moreau, 30 metres away from their line for the kick to clear from Thurston. He's got a wonderful kicking game and long when he needs it to be. Here's Hayne. He did very well, Jared Hayne, to attack that football. Picked up as many metres as he could in the return, and that's what they need to do. Find as much ground as they can each carry. You wonder whether that play from Luke Bailey and grabbing the marker's leg is going to be one of the biggest calls of the evening. Andrew Ryan, you can hear the crowd at Telstra, they're getting anxious, but they're becoming more vocal as the minutes tick away, Heinmarsh offering the ball, Baderis, Kamali, and Simpson puts it to the ground. Joey, I want to bring in here again, 
And again, I see an example there of the New South Wales ball players passing way too early when they, he really could have taken Simpson right onto the line. And I think Simpson, that's why he dropped it. He was expecting Kamali to put him right on top of Jonathan Thurston there and get the ball at the impact zone. Yeah, well, these conditions, you've got to change the angles. Uh, Steve Simpson's favourite play is the cross play. It was ideal then for the Kamali to come across the field and put Simpson inside. with English tackle, middle of the ground, 25 away from his own line. The Queenslanders with a four-point buffer. Andrew, an injury update. Yeah, bad news on Brent Tate. They, su they suspect there's some medial ligament damage. Definitely won't be back for this one. And bad news for the Bronx, who play Friday night here against the Bulldogs. And here's Hodges on a circle the wagons mission. He's put down by Simpson. He'd be burning up inside Steve Simpson at the moment. Now Sibon Asiba. Bird with the number, ready to come back in. Then a Smith who puts a kick in from outside 40, I think. Yes, I think, yes. They picked it up anyway, and it's with King. Yes, but what a kick. Cameron Smith summing up the situation perfectly. Field position is most important now for the Queensland side. They can force a mistake. They score the next points. They win this game. New South Wales now forced to go 90 metres. As Braithen Astor leaves the field and Greg Bird comes back into the fray. Ten minutes to go. And the captain has picked up and driven back. Nine on nine. Badiris and Smith jostling for the Australian number nine. Inside 40, Badiris. Kamali, he goes short with his kick. Looking for the bounce, it does, it favours Stewart. Six fellas, changeover. And that's the changeover. What a defensive play by Big Tetra Seven Receiver. The chip kick in behind the line for the fast men. Thurston came back for the Queenslanders to cover. The ball bounced the wrong way. It landed in the hands of a blue. And that man, Seven Receiver, after 30 tackles, 18 hit ups, the big front row had got back there and made the tackle. That's outstanding. The master back on the benches. This is Lilliman met by Kamali and Badiris and by Simpson. Cameron Smith to the middle for Price to go back for Lockyer to go across for Carroll. And Carroll is inside the 30 meter line. They're looking to put it away. Price first and put down by Berry again. Chance for the Blues. They've got eight and a half minutes to stay in the series. And somehow they need to manufacture back-to-back -back sets. Get to the other end. Sean Berry got a rare mistake in his game. As we pointed out, he has slotted into left centre to accommodate the loss of Brent Tate on the far side of the field. And no surprise to see Brett Kamali looking for Brett Stewart. Out. Could be a memorable night for the fullback if they can get him in position to take advantage of his speed up the middle of the ruck somewhere. Eagles versus Rabbits at 7.30 Friday. That's in New South Wales. 9.30 it'll go through to Queensland. The reverse with the Bulldogs and the Broncos. Cooper across. Kamali back. Bird catch pass. Lyon taken by Thurston. He's not just a pretty footballer, he can defend as well, can't he? Thurston bounces OK, went back, given by Ryan, given to Cooper. Hodges on Cooper, Cooper on Hodges. And Cooper tackled on halfway. Badiris, Kamali to the line. Ryan, a one-handed take, Cooper comes back and tries to go round. Hain, Jared Hain will play it. Five tackles gone, Kamali. Shorter kick, marked by King, he's got a kick. He does, he goes to the centre with the kick, but Hunter's there to defuse. Seven receiver went spearing through the air with no ball. I don't know who got him, but somebody did. What was he doing, oh, Petro oh. Seven receiver? We just give him a rap for getting back to cover defence. We thought, I'll try it again. He came up with a three and a half with Pike oh. and got nothing. I think a New South Wales chaser took exception to his presence. <laughs> Lillyman. 38 away from his own line. They could have made comic books about him. He was a, an action hero. Price is put down solidly by Hindmarsh and Badiris. 
Smith for Thurston. Thurston. Stewart is with it. Stewart goes to the middle. Thurston's after him. Good play, Jonathan Thurston. Played by Stewart. Now for Jared Hay. In the big 4X side. Short of the 30. Now for Kite. Not a lot of game time. A reeling... A reeling effort from him to try and free himself from the clutches. Six minutes of the game to go. Ryan goes down the short side. Five metres into Queensland's area. They're building the blues. Baderas for Kamali. Kamali to Mason. Mason, it's taken off him. Penalty goes to the blues. Here it is. That's the one. Willie Mason. Ball taken off him in a two-man tackle. This has to be a very well-constructed set where everybody knows what they're trying to do. I can't believe they haven't kicked for touch. Why would you not touch? kick for touch? Well, they might have a plan. Hang on. <laughs> it's a plan 35 metres out when they could have been starting 25 out. Tackle just trying to be positive. Just outside the 20-metre line. Baderas across, sweeping to Kamali, given to Ryan. Ryan fends from Malokia, gets it to Cooper. Cooper gets out of Lockyer's tackle, so Darren's had two goes for two misses, and Cooper will play the ball. 18 metres away on the eastern side, running towards the south, and it's Kamali linking with Mason. Mason comes to Hodges, gets the ball away. Baderas goes through, and he's tackled nine out. Four tackles are gone. And he can't play the ball, it's a penalty against the number eight Price. Price. We've got to roll out the road. I've oh, pulled the Maroons' pants down in the last couple of minutes of an Origin game. Queensland have done it so many times to New South Wales. Have the Blues ever snatched one late? Kyle Platt, Lockyer is calling urgently for troops on the other side. It's come back to Stewart. Stewart is three metres out from the line. Simpson, Kamali, Hindmarsh, and Hindmarsh is down. Goal! Ten metres out in front of the uprights at the end of four. Badera slow play the ball. Kamali, Mason, ball goes to ground. Queensland have got it. They want this. They want it so bad. Willie Mason trying to throw one around the corner. You'll find it went into the back of Justin Hodges. Would have been play on if the blue jersey had have dived on it. It was also play on with Hodges. As Lilliman takes it forward. They can smell a series win. Cameron Smith doing for him what has worked so well since the opening whistle. Just dummy half runs and then lock you up. Knows exactly what's required. What a catch. What a catch. On the run from Hayne. Then they come down and put him away with Thurston leading the procession. Look at this. Oh, what a catch. Three minutes on the clock. Three minutes for the Blues to keep the series alive. Cooper almost lost it, got it back in. Tackled by Sivan Siva. Kite hits them, gets it down. Queensland's Berrigan. Look out. Berrigan's away. Berrigan will score at the northern end. The Origin Series has been shut down by Queensland in game number two. Did he knock it on? Well, we're going upstairs to have a look. Shane Hang signals a video referee intervention. Did he knock it on? He said play on. Berrigan would have done well to get tackled with it. Brent Kite realising the urgency of the situation. Offloads. Gets rid of it, hits his hand, and has hit the hand of Sean Berrigan as well and gone forward. Well, that's gone backwards. Hello. That's gone backwards. That's the angle of the camera. We'll have to get a high shot to see which way he was facing when he got it. Yes, it definitely hits his hand. Number 14 we're looking at coming now. Let's have a look. I think it's forward. Yeah, it's gone forward. 
They'll pull this back. The Blues are still in it. Oh, well, he was better off to get tackled there and not go to the video referee. They're going to give the Blues the ball. Well, I, I don't know that it's gone forward, fellas. Oh, mate, they're knock-ons every day of the week. OK, I'm not arguing with that, but, you know, we seem conclusive that it's gone forward. I'm not so sure. They are reassembling for what looks like it's going to be the organisation of a scrum. The Blues know that they've just got time. Scrum to pack. Well, Knock to, on ordered. Need to pack this one quickly, New South Wales. Big Mal had the money spent. He's come about 10 metres back too far too, Shane Hay, because that was inside the 40 of New South Wales where that scrum should have packed down. So two and a quarter Let's minutes. Here. Just get your heads in here. The ball's here, boys. Shane Hayne is incorrect here. The play was about 10 metres further upfield. It helps the Blues here. Time, Brett. Time on. Two minutes to go. Back of the scrum play. Bird for Kamali. Kamali for Stewart. Stewart to Cooper. Cooper driven back. Darren Lockie, a great tackle. Inspirational tackle. So Cooper plays it. Then Kamali dummies, tries to split them. And Kamali will play it. Five metres into Queensland's area. Under two minutes to go. Queensland by four. The series, 90 seconds away. Played by Heinmarsh. Baderas goes back to Bird to go in to Simpson. And Simpson, 28 metres out from the line. Where's the ball? It's with Baderas to get it away to Mason. And Mason has pulled down. Kamali, Bird, overlap. Hain, and it's gone over the sideline. But off who? Uh, they're going to be in. Well, somebody was Jared Hain is coming. Appealing to the referee. I think it'll go Queensland way. New South Wales ball. I oh, know, New South Wales ball. That was the body language of the Blues. Ah, uh, yes. Jack Justin Hodges takes it over the sideline. One minute left on the clock. This Can anybody the... see the fat lady? <laughs> she hasn't moved, the fat lady. She started to sin when Berrigan went in. Go. Then they gagged her. The Blues are with it. Kamali got lost. Cooper. Cooper's 18 away from the Maroons line. Badiris. Brent Kite. Kite 12 away. 40 seconds to go. 40 seconds of the 07 series, probably. Heinmars, Kamali. Oh, what a pass by Stewart to Simpson. Lion. Lion knocks on. Congratulations that he deserves from Mark Coyne and company. The ball to ground again, though. It still isn't over. The Blues are with it. Go! 15 away from the line. Have they shaken hands too early? Kamali for Kite. Kite for Kamali. Mason on. Ryan gets it out. Now it's with Cooper. He kicks. He kicks back into the middle. Taken by Inglis, and Inglis takes with him the Origin Trophy. Queensland 10, New South Wales 6. What a finish. And the hoodoo, the nemesis of Telstra Stadium, has been taken from the Queensland shoulders. And yeah, not a bad time to break it as we look at the devastation for New South Wales. Broken to win a series. First time that New South Wales have lost four games in a row since 1988-89, where they lost six in a row. And the Interstate Rugby League supremacy now well and truly with the Maroons.